Hi, Divya. Good afternoon. How are you? Can you please give your introduction? Yeah. Uh, my name is Divya Vas. I'm basically from Puto, which is uh, 50 kilometers away from the Bangalore. But now I have got settled in Bangalore since last 15 years. I have completed my aeronautical engineering in the year of 2011. And now I work for a company called Megalan Aerospace as a estimation engineer. I have totally eight years of experience in the aerospace manufacturing industry. And I started my career as a methods engineer and now moved on to business development. And uh, I have taken a four years of uh, break in between in my career. And uh, I rejoined career in 2021. And it's been a two years I'm working for Magellan Aerospace. Instead of like and and and, and like there were so many ands. The option there so many ands. So try to avoid those okay. ands. Not use those okay. ands, right? Okay. Because it was repeating uh, once or twice, that is fine, but you were repeating it like you had repeated it for uh, maybe four or five times. So, which was okay. making it more, you know, um, more monotonous kind of. And uh, I was not able to, you know, I, I was losing my interest because there was so okay. much and and and. So try to comprise your uh, like sentence, useful stops. You can. Um, the rest of the sentence, you can make a new sentence of that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. And uh, what next? What other thing you have done? Uh, as a paragraph, you asked me to put on the clauses. So I started yesterday. Like uh, we had to go to Mangalore last night. And I got up in the morning. This was a beautiful Saturday morning. It is uh, raining. It is raining since morning. Um. And it's full of greenery and giving girls a pleasant feeling. That's what I written. But it was a little short, but again, um, it was fine. Though it okay. was short, uh, yeah, though it was short, but it was mm. fine. Okay, okay. Great efforts. Just try to be more, you know, um, like try to work on your sentence formation. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah. So, yes, now we can start with the next part. Okay. So, the prepositions. Yes. So, there are different errors. Most of the time, we uh, do some errors with the prepositions. Right? Yes. That is a major issue with me also. I will get confused where to put in, at, uh, of, or for. Yeah. In, at. Of no, not of food, but on in at on these the three are the most confusing ones. I believe. Yes, right? yes. So starting with two versus in, where is to put two and where is to put in? Yeah. I went to London last year. I went in London yeah, last year. I lived in London. Instead of you can say that I went in London, right? So I okay, lived yeah. in London and I went to London. Huh? Mm. Right? Yes. So, Two basically describes the moment which uh, like oh, okay. anything from one place to another. Right? Now, what is into when a word describes the moment okay. from one place mm. into another? Into is uh, when you are getting inside something. Like into the drawer. I have put my keys into the drawer. It will be closed okay. after that. Okay. Right? I have put yeah. my books into my bag. Hmm. Right? So, um, I went in the room, right? We use the preposition in or into. This leads to confusion between two prepositions when using a motion verb that describes either scenario. For example, I went to London and I went in London, right? Same as it okay. walk to school. The school, yes. They right? walked to school. Yeah. That one more sentence walked into the school. Yeah, which is correct now. Into walk, the... to school is, walk to school is you are going towards school. Okay. Walk into in... the school is you are entering in the school. Okay. 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 Get it? Run to no. the school. Running no. towards something. So run to the store. Move okay. to left. Move to right. Swim to okay. the shore. They're going towards something, no? Yes. Drive to the country. Cycle no. to work. Yes. Clear? Yes. Anyhow, clear. No. Now, yes, of course, we can use other prepositions of movement when we describe different relationships between the verb and the object of the prepositions. Now, mm. what are those other prepositions? That is across, along, uh -huh. round, uh -huh. over, up and down, and in. 
Okay. So what is the walk across the road? Across is the boundary mm -hmm. of the road. Yeah. Okay. So here yes. you are moving on the road, but you are moving across the like you are walking okay. across the road. Yes. Next is run run along the river. Along is by uh, like it should be your side. The river should be on your side. Along yeah, the like parallel. Sorry. A parallel. Parallel to the something? Parallel on, on, the banks, on the banks of the river. Okay. Right? So, along the river. Okay. Right? Back side of the river, you can say. Mm -hmm. Drive over the bridge. You are driving over the, driving over the, bridge. Over the bridge. Because you are passing the bridge. Yes, yes. Got yeah. it? You yeah. won't be there for the longer period. You will be there for a shorter period. And then you will be on the road. Okay. So once you will drive over the bridge, you will on the Sub lane. Road. Hmm. This is how we instruct directions. Okay. okay. Next is swim up and down the pool. Hmm. Next is went in the school. Now went to the school is different. Went in the school is different. Yeah. Okay. I have given you this and I have given you the uh, difference. Difference you know. Yeah. Next is static verbs. What are the static verbs? Static verbs is where uh, something is stationary. Where you are um. Like where you are uh, stable. Yeah, you stable. Are moving, uh, right? Stationary. Stationary. Stationary, yeah. Right? So we use yeah. to with we use P O two with motion verbs. Then we describe the moment from one location to another. Arrive, however, is described as static verb. Arrive okay. is when you have reached somewhere. Reach. Correct. Reached already, right? So meaning yes. it indicates no moment. Now there will be no moment because you have already reached your destination. Okay. Right? So from one point to another, there will be no moment now. Hmm. So in this case, we need to use the preposition at, which is to indicate being in a location. Like at describes where you are for now. I am okay. at my Okay. Okay. I am at the office. I am hmm. at my workplace. Okay. okay. So because you are there stationary, you are only moving in that particular uh, area. You are not yeah. going out. Yeah. Right. So I was yeah. at the theater last night. I was to the theater last night means I was going to the theater. Correct. Huh. I was at the theater means I was like I was I was there. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Clear. I yes. stayed at my brother's house last night. I stayed to stay to is wrong. Stay uh, with stay we never used to. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stayed at is the correct. Okay. It is with the arrived at, not arrived okay. at. Okay. Now is possession and access. Possession and access is where you use your own authority over something. Possession is where you have the authority. Access is where you can um, avail. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So uh, preposition to and of can both be used to signify that something belongs to or is a property of another thing. Okay. Got it. However, we use to indicate that something grants access or leads into another thing, which is a relationship that is of does not describe. Got it. For example, this okay. is the key to my room. Yeah. Right. So key to my room is uh like it gives the access. Got it. Yes. So key to my room is. Your access to the room is possible only through your keys. Yeah. Got it? So it is key to my room. Room. Just a second, please. Yeah. Key to my room and key of my room is wrong sentence. Yeah. Uh, pardon, please? Uh, I didn't get that. When you will express that this is uh, the possession to my room. Yeah. Huh. It gives the access to my room. That is key to my room. Yes. Now, key of my room is just the belonging. Correct, correct. Huh. Right? So these yes. two are different in nature and uh, indicates a very different meaning. Okay, okay. Got it? Yes, clear now. So for the advanced language, you will use this is the key to my room. Yeah. The key of my room, which we have been using since long. Yeah. Great. Correct. There are also certain instances in which we could use either preposition and still have a correct sentence, but the meaning would be subtly different. Something changes. Yes. This is the main door of the house. This is the main door to the house. Yeah. Why it is, why it is um, 
or like why it has a different meaning because means the primary door to gain access to the house correct meaning primary door belonging to the house correct right yeah. so what the meaning these two yes, yes, now it's clear correct however two of these intents are very different meaning hmm. got it yes now next to the inverse is on okay right so we use in when we are talking about something appearing in printed media okay while on is used to talk about something appearing on the television or digital media when there is some book or when something which is oh. written like printed you get something to read yeah that is in the book in the okay. newspaper right hmm. and then hmm. you are doing like when you are using your eyes like of course you are using your eyes to read rather but when it is digitally uh, available when it, when it is on the television you will say on the on hmm. news so it is in the newspaper hmm. and on the news on the news okay so it will never be in the news and on the newspaper hmm. okay it will be in the newspaper and on the news on the news okay got it yes so it will be on the television and in not in the television hmm the neel is the longest river in the world and neel is the longest river of the world in the world the nes in the complete world of the world belongs of uh, is used to uh, is used for belonging belonging yeah right so neel is the longest river of the world doesn't uh, tell that it is in the world it says that it is of the it belongs to the world but when you say it is in the world it says uh, from uh, like uh, amongst all the rivers of the world among all the rivers in the world neel is the strongest uh, longest longest now is it clear with the in and uh, of of okay belongs in uh, i'm not still not clear wherever of is used it says it is a belonging belonging correct in this is, this is my key uh, sorry this is my ring Hmm. this ring is uh this ring belongs to me yes so it is if i will say it is uh like it belongs to me no so for hmm. belonging thing we use of got it yeah however in is used where there is uh something refers to being inside or within something like within okay a part of something okay okay clear now so this is performance in versus at okay what is to a uh, use for performance right. my brother is good at english not in english my brother is good at english right it's a particular ha huh? particular in one thing says uh, comes along with that yes there you are not comparing your brother with somebody else correct but when you will say my brother is good in english that means your brother is only good in english however rest of the subjects he is not good at okay but if you will say my brother is good at english so you are just telling about his english subject you are not comparing it with any other subject or with any other student in the class yeah right how yes. if say my brother does well in the class it says that he is doing better than the other students other students student. yeah is it clear yes yes anything which is not understandable here no it is clear now in and that yeah i believe many of the sentences you must have been using wrong yeah right yes so from now on good make sure you will not do that mistake okay okay got it yes and if you will be using some different preposition because preposition changes the meaning yeah so if you will be using different preposition it will change the complete meaning of the sentence correct i mean till now i was not aware of it So when we are talking about a particular subject, we use in is good at, but 
if we are talking about a particular setting, we use does well in. Like mm. setting means uh, there is a uh, there are a lot more people there. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Over on and at the weekend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we have uh, Great. Now, over means when you are going through something. I will do my homework over the weekend. Over the weekend and throughout the weekend, you will be doing your homework. Okay. That means going to do. I will do my homework over the weekend, not doing. Okay. Right? If it will be doing so, it will be I will be doing my homework. Uh, I will be. We will be there. If okay. there is ing tone, then there will be be. I will do my homework on the weekend means somewhere, some of the point in the weekend, I will do my homework. It's not sure. Hmm. But it, and I will hmm. do my homework at the weekend. It is basically a British English. Hmm. So I'll do my homework during the weekend. During the weekend is a wrong phrase. Yeah, I used to use during the weekend, during the end of the day. I used to use that wrong. During is used. <laughs> during is used for a particular period, like during the winters. Hmm. Right? For a longer period. Okay. Okay. Got it? Yes. Um, verbs that take both to and at. Now we'll be discussing about some of the verbs. Okay. Many verbs are able to take multiple prepositions after them. However, this often results in a change in the sentence meaning. Right? Now, verb, most of the time, um, this, what is a preposition first? I'm sorry, I skipped this part. What is a preposition? I believe we had discussed this thing in the um, in this last class. Previous class. Right? What is the preposition? Yeah. Position is basically a position word. Yeah. Right? So position yes. is usually determined with the verbs. Correct. Right. So uh, we use prepositions along with the verbs. So there are some of the verbs which uh, when get connected to different prepositions take a different meaning. Okay. For example, um, shout to and shout at. Yeah. Okay. Now to shout at. Shout to means call. Shout I mean, is call. Yeah. Shout at you means at you are you are scolding someone. Yes. Is that right? uh -huh. It's like you are uh, like you are yelling at somebody. You yelling are yelling at anger kind of thing. Okay. Right. Throw hmm. throw to or throw at. Throw to is giving uh, away something. Okay. Right? And throw hmm. at is, just a second. Throw at is basically uh, where you are, like, um, it's basically where you are, um, throw at is. Um, you are aiming something and giving? No. No, not aiming basically. If you throw something at someone, you want to hit. Yes, you want to hit that person. Okay. Uh -huh. Right? You are throwing to so that the people, so that the other people can catch it. Okay. Or grab it. But when you are throwing at, you want, like your intention is to hit the person. Okay. Okay. Point to and point at. Point to is again, same, similar to the uh, shouting to. And point at is where you are just like pointing at his watch and said, I must go. Like pointing where, which is near. Point to, point to. Okay. Yeah. Pointing to is for the farther things, like for the things which are at the law, like at a very far away distance. And mm. uh, pointing at is uh, for something which is near to you. Closer to you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This model is done here. 